Okay, so this is the tutorial for the abrasive saw. This is a Bueller Abrasive Mat 250. Come around here. Um, the power switch is in the back right of this. You just kind of turn it clockwise. And then you'll notice the light turns on. At that point, you'll hear the latch on the click, and this can come up. The main uh, thing you have to know to use this is how to move these uh, jaws back and forth. So the major loosening and tightening are in these black uh, things, and you just do counterclockwise to loosen them, and just drag them back by these. Okay, so what we're gonna chop today is, uh, this is gonna be tool steel, it's like a, from a giant Allen wrench. So the left side clamps better than the right. The blade comes down basically in between these two stops. These stops should be parallel and flat. Um, and back up a little from the, the rear so that the center of the blade cuts the piece. Um, so if we want, say, a half an inch piece, so we need maybe go about this far, slide these forward. We're gonna make sure these two, these are like a quick release jaws, but these are toward the center. They may be a little bit tight and need to be lubricated though. So get them up there, tighten each of these black jaws. Make sure that this doesn't uh, is not in front of the door or else we can't close it all the way. And then the quick releases get pushed both outward. So these are a little bit different. Okay, at that point, we can uh, wiggle the piece, make sure it doesn't move at all. Close the lid, push the start button. We want to make sure that the water is running at this point. Hold the handle pull down slowly. You want to make sure that we don't hit this piece too hard or the blade will crack because it's pretty fragile. So wait until we make contact. There you go. You can see the like, sparks shooting on the back of the piece in there. Okay. When we get through the whole piece, we'll hear it get quiet. dripping over here. So if you want to cut many pieces from the same stock, you can then um, take off the quick releases and move the piece over a little bit, uh, tighten them and do it again. Otherwise, if you're just finishing, then loosen both of the black jaws, pull this out, grab the piece. If you're going to mount this after, you'll want to grind off maybe little burrs that exist on the piece.